Hey hi, this is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to reset multi-factor authentication for a user account in Office 365. So let's get started. Multi-factor authentication is also referred as MFA in Office 365. So for us to be able to reset the MFA, We'll have to log in to the portal with the global admin account. What we'll do is we will go to the admin center. A direct URL for the admin center is admin.microsoft.com. As you can see on the top. Once you are in this page, you simply have to log in with the account, which has the global admin rights. On this page, uh, we simply have to click on users and then active users. And on the top, you can see multi-factor authentication. Once we click on it, it will take us to the configuration page of multi-factor authentication, where we can see different methods available for multi-factor authentication setup. There are three ways, as you can see. The one is conditional access. The second one is security default. And the third one is the legacy MFA, which is per user based. Security default and conditional access policy can be applied to multiple user. Security default can be applied to the entire tenant. And let's go to the legacy per user MFA by clicking on this link. It will open the portal. And as you can see, all the users within the tenant has been listed here. We simply have to browse or search for that user on which we want to reset the MFA. Uh, for example, if we pick this user and the status of the user's MFA can also be found in this column. It is currently enforced. So it basically means that the user, when they log in the next time, they will have to use the MFA to access the resources. So for us to reset, we'll simply select the user and on the right, we have the option manage user settings In manage user settings page. We have three options out of which the first one is the option which will reset the MFA for the user. Resetting the MFA basically means that the user when they log in the next time, it will ask them to provide their contact information. It can be either a phone based authentication or to set up the authenticator application depending on the modes which you have made available for them. So we'll select it and click on save for it to reset it. If you want, you can check the other two options as well. Select the first one and we'll click on save. And the update has been successful. We'll click on close and if we try to log in with the user, the same user of which we reset it, the MFA, if we go back into a in private window and try to log in, we can see how exactly it behaves when we reset the multi-factor authentication of a user. So let's check it out. We'll go to the office.com. You can simply go to portal.office.com and then log in. And there you go. This is the page you can see which uh, is a brand new registration for the MFA after we have reset it. So this is the way you can reset the multi-factor authentication using the legacy per, per user MFA. There is also a way to do it from the Entra admin center, which is uh, considered as a better way to reset the MFA for the user. I will suggest to use that as well. For us to go there, we'll have to go back to the admin center and then navigate to the identity admin center, which is also called as Entra. And on this page, we simply have to click on users, all users, and then search for that user. You can either type and search it, or you can browse to locate the user. Once you find the user, click on the name of the user. It will open the user details page and on the left, we'll click on authentication method and it will show us the authentication method the user currently have. And if we want to reset it, we simply have to click on 
require re-register multi-factor authentication option on the top this is a better way to reset the multi-factor authentication instead of using the legacy one if you want to reset the mfa for a user the best place to do it is in the identity admin center do let me know if you have any questions